In the parish church of Wheaton, a thief broke into the sacristy and got a hold of a consecrated host that he slipped into one of his gloves. According to reports from the village of Wheaton, the theft occurred in 1411. The thief then mounted his horse, intended to make it to the nearby village of Spitz. Instead of taking the main road, he chose a lateral one that passed through a valley. When he arrived at a particular spot, his horse halted and would not move any farther, no matter how much the man beat him. Some laborers working in the surrounding fields came to help, but there was no way to make the horse move. It stood still as a statue. Then suddenly the animal leaped to a gallop, and the host, that was hidden in the rider's glove, dropped to the ground without anybody noticing. A few days later, a Mrs. Sheck from Mannersdorf passed by the spot and saw the host encircled in a strong light. In great wonder, she picked it up and noticed that the consecrated host was broken in two parts, but remained joined together by threads of bleeding flesh. The woman was greatly moved and at her own expense built a small chapel in thanksgiving on the spot. As news of the miracle spread, many pilgrims came to the place. Later it was necessary to build a bigger church to contain the great crowds that came every year in pilgrimage in order to honor the precious reliquary. <laughs>